Hi, this is Jeremy with Digi Tech Support. Port forwarding allows you to remotely access a device that's attached to an LR54 via Ethernet. If the goal is to remotely access the device from anywhere over the internet, port forwarding will only work if the LR54 has a public mobile IP address. In other words, an IP address that can be reached from quote unquote anywhere. This video will demonstrate how to set up a transport LR54 to allow remote access to the web interface of an Ethernet attached device, in this case, a Digi Anywhere USB 14 USB over IP hub. The same logic would apply to other Ethernet attached devices behind the LR54. This video assumes that WAN connectivity is properly configured and working with external access possible, in other words, that a public mobile IP address is used. It's also assumed that the Ethernet attached device has a static IP address and has the LR54 as its default gateway. Open the web interface of the LR54, which is 192.168.1.1 by default and in this example. From there, open the device console and ensure that the LR54 can ping the Anywhere USB. Ensure that the Ethernet attached device in this example and Anywhere USB can ping the LR54. Back in the LR54 web interface, navigate to Network, Services, Port Forwarding. Click the Add Rule button. The From Port field is the port number that will be used at the end of the URL to access the Anywhere USB. Because the LR54 already has a web server listening on port 80, we will use port 81. The to IP address field is the LAN IP address of the Anywhere USB. Because the Anywhere USB web server listens on the standard HTTP port 80, this should be used in the to port field. Ensure the new rule is enabled, then click apply. Determine the mobile IP address of the LR54 in the cellular status area of the LR54 web interface. The Anywhere USB web interface can now be reached by using a web browser to navigate to the mobile IP address of the LR54 with 81 as the port number at the end of the URL. Thanks for watching and please let us know if you have any questions or feedback by emailing tech.support at digi.com.